All right, guys. So this is the next question. Uh, please try it out and then we will look at the solution. So one way to solve the question is we have been given f of x plus y is fx into fy. So from here, we will write f of x plus y as f of 5 plus 5, thereby putting x as 5 and y as 5. So we are going to get f of 5 multiplied by f of 5. So basically f of 10 can be found as f of 5 has been given as 4 into 4. The value of f of 10 will be 16. So we'll just note it down. The value of f of 10 is simply equal to 16. Okay, now comes the next part where we'll calculate the value of f of minus 10. Now for that, guys, we will have to put x as 5 and y as 0. So that we are going to get f of 0 plus 5 is f of 0 into f of 5. So f of 5 is equal to f of 0 into f of 5. I know that f of 5 is equal to 4, which is non-zero. That's why it can be cancelled out from both sides. We will have f of 0 is equal to 1, right? Since f of 0 is equal to 1, guys, what I can do next is I can write f of x plus y as f of 10 plus minus 10, putting x as 10 and y as minus 10. This will give me f of 10 into f of minus 10. Now, the left-hand side is f of 10 plus minus 10, which is f of 0. The right-hand side is f of 10, which I already have found as 16, f of minus 10 as it is. f of 0, we know it is simply equal to 1. So, f of minus 10 is equal to 1 upon 16. Now, we know f of 10, we have f of minus 10, it is 1 by 16. So, now the final answer is 16 minus 1 upon 16. Now, we don't need to actually evaluate the answer, guys. If you can, of course, if you know powers of 2, you will know that 1 by 16 is 0 0.0625. You'll automatically get 15.9375. But you can also solve by observation, guys. 1 by 16 is lesser than 1 by 2. So, the answer has to be more than 15.5, right? That's the D option. Now, there is another amazing approach to solve the question, guys. And that is the Cauchy's functional equations. Okay. So, f of x plus y is equal to fx into f of y. We need to understand what kind of equation this particular function represents. So, if you write f of x plus y is equal to fx into fy. Basically, if you're multiplying the numbers, okay, fx into fy you're getting f of x plus y. This typically happens in an exponential function, right? If you take f of x is equal to a raised to x, if you take f of y, you will get a raised to y. When you multiply them both, you have f of x into f of y is a raised to x into a raised to y. That's a raised to x plus y. That's nothing but f of x plus y, right guys? So the function in your question is a raised to x. And now things are very simple, guys. When you put x is equal to 5, you're going to get f of 5 is equal to a raised to 5 or f of 5 has been given to us as 4. So a raised to 5 is equal to 4. Okay, raising both the sides to the power 1 by 5, I have a raised to 5, the whole raised to 1 by 5 is 4 raised to 1 by 5. So a is equal to 4 raised to 1 by 5. I have put this in the given equation for f of x. I'll get the function f of x as 4 raised to 1 by 5 raised to x or the equation I need is f of x is 4 raised to x by 5. And now since I have the function before my eyes, I can directly put x is equal to 10. I will get f of 10 is equal to 4 raised to 10 by 5. That's 4 square, which is 16. Similarly, f of minus 10 will be 4 raised to minus 10 by 5. That's 4 raised to minus 2. 1 upon 4 square is 1 upon 16. So the final answer is 16 minus 1 upon 16. That is 15.9375.